Hola everyone, this is Miss Leah from Language U, and today we are going to be reading Jan Brett's The Mitten, but we are going to be doing a silly Spanish twist as always. So you might think you know this story, but you have no idea. So let's get started right away. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Chico, and he was wearing his ropa de invierno, his winter clothes, in a very cold place. Oh, Chico! Oh, me, is it time for me? Chico, it's time for you, and you're in your underpants. Ah, this is an underpants alert! This is an underpants alert! It wouldn't be an underpants alert if you had just come in your ropa de invierno. Ah! Okay, don't panic, keep going. Be natural. I am not in my underpants. Great, yes, because he was dressed in his sombrero. <coughs> he was dressed in his pantalones, thanks goodness. Oh! He was dressed in his abrigo, zip. He was dressed in his botas, his boots. Fagunk. Fagunk. Yay! And he was wearing his bufanda, his scarf. <laughs> Don't die, Miss Thea! Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's better. Okay, great. Um, but there's one thing that he wasn't wearing. Can you guys guess? The story is called The Mitten. Yeah, he didn't have any mitones. Oh, no! So, to be nice, his abuela, his grandmother, surprised him with some mitones. And I wanted mitones blancos! Mitones blancos, white mittens, but they're gonna get lost in the snow outside. No, they won't! Okay, I see what's gonna happen. So, Chico got his mitones blancos, and guess what's the first thing he did? I lost one! What, Chico, you're giving away the story now. Amigos, he lost one. Yes, that's true. And here is that actual miton that he lost on the ground. Now Chico didn't spot that lost miton, but there was an animal that did. It was, anybody know? A teeny tiny topo, a little mole. The topo spotted the miton and she was like, oh, I can stay snuggly warm all winter in this miton, hooray! Oh my goodness, that would have been so cute for a little topo to snuggle up in a miton all winter. That would have been a really cute ending. But this is el miton, the mitten, and that's not where we're going because there's already another animal animal on the way. Before the topo could get too comfortable, we had a hippity hoppity animal. ¿Qué es eso? Es un conejo. The conejo, the bunny rabbit, was hopping around, hippity hop, hippity hop, when it spotted the miton and Topo. I'm not Topo, what are you doing in there? Oh, I'm staying snuggly warm all winter. So Conejo thought that was just the best idea ever. So he hippity hopped, hippity hopped, oof, right into the miton. Hey. So I guess they were staying snuggly warm all winter together, that conejo and topo, and that would have been a really cute ending, but that's not where we're at, okay? There's already another animal on the way. ¿Qué es eso? <gasps> Ooh, es un erizo. This was a prickly, prickly, ouch, 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 erizo, hedgehog, oh my goodness, was roly pulling around when it roly pulled its way right into the miton. Wait a second, we're not taking this erizo in. It's a pajama party! Whoa, oh my goodness. That is gonna be the prickliest pajama party ever. But we don't have time to talk about that prickly pajama party because there's already another animal on the way. This one was flying overhead. Who, who, who is it? It's Buo! It's Buo, the owl! Hoo, hoo, hoo. She was flying, flying when she spotted the Miton and all of the animales. Hey, you guys, what are you doing in there? Are you getting ready for my birthday? Um, your birthday, isn't that like three weeks away? Yes, are you throwing me a surprise party? Oh, you guys are too nice! So the Buo, hoo, hoo, hoo! Flew herself inside. 
Happy birthday, boo Okay, seriously, boo it's not your birthday, all right? If you heard that, okay. Anyway, so we don't have time to talk about how it wasn't Buo's birthday because there was already another anima on the way. This one, instead of flying overhead, was deep underground. Es un tejón. Tejón is a badger. And the badger was burrowed underneath for the winter, the invierno. But Tejón started to wake up. There, was that musica? Was that music? Happy birthday, boo Seriously, boo it is not your birthday. Did you just start music? Oh my goodness. So the Tejón was like, oh, it must be a special time of year. So the Tejón burrowed, burrowed himself out, dug, dug, dug to the top of the soil, popped his head out and was like, Feliz Primavera. Happy spring, everyone. Oh, ga, 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 ga. Was it spring? No, no, no. The Tejón was instantly so cold, he spotted all of his amigos in the miton and was like, hey, you guys, what are you doing in there? Are you throwing a party? Um, I guess so. I'm digging my way in there. And that's exactly what he did. Ah, dig, 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 yay. Oh my goodness, amigos. So now we have the topo, tejon, erizo, conejo, and the buo all inside. Happy birthday, buo. Seriously, buo, it is not your birthday. Okay, so amigos, it would have been maybe okay, but there's already another animal on the way, so we can't really talk about it. This animal was a sneaky, sneaky zorro. A zorro is a fox, and this one was the sneakiest. He saw all of the animales in the miton and was like, oh, hello, they didn't invite me to that fiesta, that party going on in there? How rude. So he decided he was gonna get his way in too. Ding dong! Wait, when did this miton get a doorbell? <laughs> He snuck himself in to the miton, and now it was even squishier than ever. There was the zorro, conejo, erizo, tejon, topo, and the buo. Happy birthday, buo! Oh wait, seriously, it is not your birthday! Okay, so that would have been enough, but there's still animales to come, and this one was scary. Wait a second, all of the musica, the music went out. Even Bua wasn't singing happy birthday to herself. It was something that was growling. It was an oso. Yeah, great job. An oso is a bear, and this one was so hungry. The oso came over to all of the animales and was like, and everybody was like, ah! But then, when Oso opened her mouth, she said, Hey guys, what are you doing in there? Oh, it's just Oso! Oso, you scared us! We thought you were a real bear that was gonna eat us! No, I am a hungry bear, and I think I smell birthday cake in there! Seriously, Boo, -oh, it is not your birthday! So the Oso popped into the miton before anybody could say anything, and it was jam-packed. There was no room for a giant Oso, but there was still Un anima mas. One more animal. Que mas? Que es eso? It's a little baby raton. And the little raton was going squeak, 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 squeak all around the woods when she spotted all of the animales in the miton. And she said, squeak, 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 hola amigos. But nobody heard her. So she said it even louder. Squeak, 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 hola amigos. But nobody heard her over Happy Birthday Buo once again. So she hopped on top of the nariz, the nose of the oso. Hey, you guys! Hola, hola, it's a little baby raton. But before she could say anything else, uh, 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 Yep, all of the animales went flying out of the miton. But there was somebody that was paying attention, finally. It was Chico. And when he spotted the miton, he caught it in the air and brought it back to show his abuelita, his grandmother, that finally he had dos mitones. The end.